I'm here with Jeff Landis. You might know him as Hot Stuff. You might know him as uh, Vicious Venom. You know, I don't know. But nonetheless, Jeff Landis is on the ballot for favorite TV personality in the What's Up Reader's Choice Awards this year. I don't know when that's taking place, probably sometime in April. I understand that people can vote for their favorite TV personality and radio personality, favorite band, venue, and so on until March 31st. So Jeff Landis, tell me about how is it that you're on the ballot this year? Well, this year they did a thing where you could vote, you know, put on who you want on a ballot this year because it's always been the regular same people, like Third Frame, Sankofa, you know, the regular people that people used to see in their names, like a, a favorite teacher person like Melissa Long, um, Linda Jackson, you know, the major people. So what they did this year was Doug stirred the pot, which is kind of cool, and it was up to the people to vote. And so, like I said, I give the vote, I give it the people, I call it the people's whammies this year because, you know, the people voted. They're the ones that voted for the polls. So, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be in a ballot. So, my personal thanks goes to them because if it weren't for them and their votes, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So, from the bottom of my heart, no matter what I say, they'll always be my number one because if they didn't have that support for me, I wouldn't be there. Now, why should people vote for you as favorite personality? I mean, besides your being their favorite TV personality, but why should people vote for you? Well, you see, you have your Melissa Longs, your Curtis Smith, and your Linda Jacksons. They're always winning. The one thing about them, their network, ABC, Wayne TV. Yeah, I don't understand why the Wayne forgot 55 Fox, which is phenomenal staff. Andrew Logsdon, Brooke Welch. I, you know, I, I've worked with them before, but you still, you know, what's up, forgot about them. Or some of the people who didn't vote for them, you know. It's, you know, my props go to them, but why me? Well, I'm from public access. I've seen, you know, the ballads before. Or not ballads, but I've seen the whammy before. You've seen Uncle Ducky on there, uh, Michael Loveless. You've seen them on, you know, me. You've seen, you've seen our names on there. But we've never officially made it to number one. And I want to be the first person out of public access to win a whammy to show that, hey, I don't have to be in access to win. You know, you don't have to be a big network to win a whammy. Now, Jeff, I don't want to let people know who I voted for. Oh, that's fine. For favorite TV personality. I don't want to tell them because I don't want to influence anybody because I want to make this a fair forum. Yeah, that's, that's else what it to, is. If anybody else wants to come on the podcast... And tell me why they should be voted favorite TV personality or radio personality or whatever. Well, I want them to feel free to do so. But if somebody does want to vote for Jeff Landis, his favorite television personality, well, how would they go about doing that, Jeff? Okay, you go to whatsupmagazine.com or whatsup.com. I think it is. I'm not sure. Then you go to best of 2014. I'm number three on a ballot. And you'll see Melissa Long, Curtis Smith, and I'm number three, which shocks the hell out of me. How I ended up number three. Then you got the other one, you know, the other people down on the list, and you can either vote in other for somebody else, or you could just vote Jeff Landis on the thing, or you could always pick up your local magazine, which is every Thursday. Yes, I, I know about the magazine because it's local. Same with Fort Wayne Reader. You know, pick them up. They, they, they're local informative. But like I said, if you want to vote that way, go to What's Up and Pick up your What's Up magazine and vote for me for favorite. Ugh. Sorry, I'm, I'm hypnotized. I'm excited. I hopefully I win. That's why I'm all jacked up and say I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew, but I'm jacked up on something else right now. Well, how much money do you win from What's Up for winning the the whammy? I don't know because I've never won. Okay. I, I I all I know is you win a, a like a, a like a thing with a CD in it. And it's like a plaque or whatever type of deal. Then you get interviewed and. Bob Rhodes, the guy of Wood Nickel, takes pictures of you, you know, of you winning a whammy. So I really don't know. I've never officially won because, like I said, I've always been number eight or number five. This is as close as I've become on the ballot. So, like I said, it, if I don't win, I know I made the top ten. I said that every year. If I don't win, I make the top ten because I, I see it happen because it happens every year. You know what's cool? If you win the whammy this year, you'll only need to win about forty more of those whammies to catch up to Sonny Taylor. <laughs> Sonny Taylor. Yeah, she seemed like a spoiled, stuck-up little brat. What do you say? Okay, you know how I am on Facebook. I'm very open, very blunt about everything. Well, she commented on something 
on one of my friends' pages. Next thing you know, I noticed her comment was there, and she unfriended me. Then there's one time I said something about Doug Drisco on What's Up Magazine. I said something about him, and she's like, said something to defend him and stuff like that. I don't remember what it was, but she just seems, comes off cocky and arrogant. Like, yeah, of course you're going to win awards. I found out some things on how, how What's Up works, but I'm not going to say how, you know. I've, I've, I got insiders on how things work. You know, I, I would like to have my friends that work in the company to vote for me as well, but I don't have a friend for me in the company to vote. Oops, sorry, did I say that out loud? But, um, yeah, she somehow wins awards all the time. She's on the ballot this year. Well, I think the two of you need to hash this out. You and Sonny Taylor? <laughs> Little Sonny Taylor? Because, you know, I remember Sonny from back in the day. She was, uh, you know, I, I used to have her on Scene Machine, back my old public access show. I remember Scene yeah, Machine. Yeah, Sonny Taylor. But, uh, yeah, man, this is, a, this is a controversy. Who knew? Who knew that I was going to have Jeff Landis in here whipping up controversy with Sonny Taylor? Sonny Taylor, are you listening to this? You need to be listening to this, Sonny Taylor. Because uh, I need to get your side of this, Sonny, because uh, Jeff Landis just opened up a whole can of worms and whoop-ass. Mm -hmm. A couple of cans he, he done opened up over here. I mean, it's quite obvious. I mean, she wins all these awards. They don't give anybody else chance. You know, like I said, it's, it's, this year is a different story. It's the People's Award. So, like I said, this year could be different completely from last year. Now, Sonny's got about eight dozen of these awards. What if she gave you one of hers? Would that help? No, because I didn't deserve it. I rather, do, I rather deserve it myself. I don't want somebody just hand me an award because I don't deserve it. It's like getting a handout. No. Make, if that makes sense, what I'm saying, you know, I, I don't want no handout. I want to deserve to win. You know, I want to show that hey, I, I really want this. All right. Well, I'm just whipping up this uh, uh, Jeff Landis versus Sonny Taylor stuff because it, it's juicy to me. Oh, uh, I understand completely. I might get some ratings out of this, John. But like I said, you know, she's good at what she does. I've seen her in public access. I, you know, I thought she was cute as hell one time when I watched her doing something on TV, you know, singing. But then, you know, I've seen her at the Miami's before and she just seemed like she was a stuck up snob. I mean, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'd be like, hey, Sonny, I apologize because that's the kind of person I am. Yeah, I come off like I'm cocky, I'm arrogant sometimes, but I'm not. I'm just very proud and humble for what I've done. Jeff Landis, thank you for being hot stuff and for being outlandish. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> That's always me. <laughs> I wouldn't be any different.